Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome everybody. So I had a question on a comment which I meant to write down your name honey and I didn't and my phone is up here and I can't look on it. So I had a question on how I labeled my sponge daubers. Now I'm going to show you um, actually now three different ways you can do so. I need to do, this one is my basic beige and it needs a label. This is early espresso, um, but <clears throat> you can see on this bubble bath one, I didn't want to get out my little uh, label machine. So I did bubble bath and I just put a piece of scotch tape on it. And then I had another idea. So on the back, see this one's missing its bits. On the back of your Stampin' Up! ink pads, where is my... Okay, cool. There is the sticker here. And it totally pulls up like so, right? So I always put um, one here, Summer Splash, in one here. And then <clears throat> the others, there's like, there's five of them. One is on the, my file folders. Let me show you. Oh, here. These are not... Let me just pull one out. Okay, see, I just used them all on here, and I only put uh, two of these on my berry burst. Not all of my file folders look like this, okay, guys? Not all of them. Um, but this is something I started to do. See, there's berry burst, the solid on the back, berry burst, and then the other colors because I keep my papers in a filing cabinet in these expandable pockets. <clears throat> the other file folders I have aren't expandable pockets. That's why I said, nope, those aren't them. Um, because it keeps the dust and stuff by keeping them in a filing cabinet. I used to have them in a big stacked uh, thing and dust layered on my cardstock and I didn't like it. So <clears throat> let me show you a couple of ways to do this. <coughs> First simple way would be to take a scrap. Can you guys know me? I keep lots of little scrap of cardstock. So little scrap. Um, let's see. Oh, this is plenty. This is a little over a half an inch, just a hair over half an inch. And you can physically write the name, you know, I'm just going to use a pencil. Let's say summer splash. But make sure it's, uh, it will, it's not too big. That's why I abbreviate mine. See, that would not work. So I would do S dot splash if I was handwriting it. <clears throat> and then I just took, um, a piece of scotch tape and went around it. That's how you can do it if you don't have a label maker or the ink pad. So let's take a brand new sponge dauber right here. These cases you can get on Amazon. They come filled and I think they can come non-filled. One little sponge dauber. Now, you can take one of these because I just want the color. Now for me, because I don't have all of mine done, I'm going to put the color. Well, it might be, even though it's in a different language than I speak, I'm just going to put the color around the sponge dauber. I just want it for the color. <clears throat> okay. And it really, it does change the color because it's black. But what I'm going to do next is use my label maker. Now I'm going to tell you, this label maker, it, I got it like at By Mart. It's kind of like a, a Kmart. It's a small little, um, they are battery operated um, because they don't come with the cord. My husband got a universal charging cord that has um, a whole bunch of these ends. I'll take this part. Let me put this back together. Okay, this little end <clears throat> clips in here and that way it'll go to multiple units and we just used the one. This is something we purchased. So that I had a cord. Now, of course, what did I do? Am I no longer hooked up? Sorry, guys, I have to have 
unlike most places, my stamp room, I literally have um, two outlets. I have one in this corner of the room and then one in the center of the back. So I that's why, like I tell you guys, I, I don't have like my um, embossing tool doesn't doesn't reach here. So let's see. Why is this not? Maybe I need to turn it this way. And turn it on. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hit the capital S dot and then splash. <clears throat> there we go. So that's my summer splash. I go over. I should have. I usually do like three, three dots, and then I need basic beige. We'll do five. So B dot beige. I usually always abbreviate the first one. <clears throat> and I see now that the B is not capitalized, so that would bug me. B dot B E I G H. One, two, three, four, and five. So here's my next one, Petunia Pop. I'm going to do them all. Sorry, guys, because otherwise I waste tape. Pop, one, two, three, four, and five, and pretty in pink, P dot. Oh, that's going to be kind of funny, huh? In pink. It will still fit on there. One, two, three, four, five. So we have Summer Splash, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, <clears throat> S dot, Shamrock, hopefully, sometimes I don't spell them all the way, One, two, three, right, four, five, I forgot five, and Peach Pie, Peach, ooh, so what we are going to do here, because there's Pumpkin Pie, so we are going to do Peach, I think the whole thing actually will fit. <clears throat> Peach pie. And I'm going to do one, two, three. Do I need any others? Oh, bubble bath. I should do bubble bath again. B and bath. Because it's the only one that has bath. Oh, text is full. Let's go back. I think I need to go. Let's see, we'll do BB bath. There we go. So now I'm just going to do print copies one. Okay. And it's going to print these out. And I use the biggest font possible on here. <clears throat> this doesn't cut the way I like it to cut. So I'm going to just snip it off when it's done. <clears throat> All right. And... So we need to cut them, and I don't care if they're straight or not. Some people, I wonder if Shamrock is going to fit in there. There. Where's that basic beige? In these, they split, like you know how like you mount your red rubber stamps? They split in the center. And... My dear husband, when he bought me that, he also ordered off Amazon a complete box of uh, printer tape for my machine. <laughs> and his only rule, guys, and you guys have probably heard this when I first got it, <clears throat> is he told me to stay out of the house with the uh, label machine. Because, <laughs> yeah, I would I would uh, have a heyday in the, in the kitchen and I would have had everything labeled. Where everything goes, like, I'm not kidding, I would have, like, macaroni and cheese. I would have labels on all the shelves, and yes, I would do that. I, uh, I promised him I wouldn't. So this is Summer Splash, right? Yes. So there's Summer Splash. And then I need more. So this is how I do it. But like I said, you could just use this from your, um ink pad, me, and then I'm going to show you how I label mine, which I probably need to do another one. So I need a pretty in pink, which is this one. Now, not, 
not all of my sponge stoppers get used. I do try to label them. <clears throat> and then if I don't use them, like we had a color refresh, right? And I had a whole little case labeled and the ones that got retired and did not use, I just peeled these labels off so I could use them again. And some of my sponge daubers, like I have two early espresso. One is really bad. Um, it needs to be retired to the garbage can. Let's see if Shy Shamrock fits in here. Ooh, close, close call. Bubble bath now. Bubble bath needs this label removed. This is just scotch tape. So that one needs to be retired in there. <clears throat> and then you're going to see in my other one, before I got the label maker, I had a mess and I didn't know what the colors were. And I've used, like, I know one color I've used several times. I have like three of the same color going. Oh no. There's my grandson. So peach pie. There we go. So I have all of my new ones. This one is the er newer version. Like this one here, guys. Not sure what this sponge dauber is too. Bye-bye. Where are you going? Me and Hank are going fishing with Ken. Oh, have fun, guys. <clears throat> that is so good. The guys are going to go fishing. Okay. So, this is my first box I got. And this one I got I empty, I believe. And I had my other sponge doppers. So, like, this one is... Um, Mary Merlot. See, this is retired. So, Rich Razzleberry, Mint Macaron, Pacific Point. These are ones I've used. And these three blue ones, guys, that one's coming unglued. They're all roughly about the same color. I think this is Azure Afternoon. Uh, maybe, I don't know. So, they're like overstuck in La La Land over here. And these are retired. Pear pizzazz. All of these need to move over and make room for the in colors. I started this. <clears throat> now this needs to move for the retired. I didn't get this finished. And I didn't think about... Oh, that does not want to come up. There. So we're going to put retired like right here in the middle. But what I want to do now is this is retired 2023 to 2025. Moody Mauve. Those are in color still, right? These are retired Orchid Oasis. I need to make a label for those. That one's just Jade. These are Evening Evergreen. See, these are retired as well, but I need to label them. That one's missing something there. So 2024, we need to make a label for this, for the new one. So let's turn it on again. Clear. Okay. And then, don't. I mean, there's so much you can do on this thing, guys, but I am not tech savvy. So what I want to do is in... In colors... 20, 24 to 2026, 1, 2, 3, and then I want to repeat in in colors. So what it was it? Moody Mauve is, this is 2023 to 2024. Oh my goodness, somebody help me please. <laughs> Okay, what year was just Jade? Are they labeled on here what in colors they are from? Mm-mm, nope. They're not. Oh, let me see. That one said 2024. Bumblebee. See, this says 2021. So that must be 2021 to 2023. So in colors... 
2021 to 2023. And then in colors again. In colors 20. Hmm. 20, what, 20, 2020 or 2019? I have no idea. I'm just going to put in colors in backspace that I can always add it. So I'm going to print copies one. Okay. And it's going to print me colors. And I'm going to have to go up and look what year the other ones are and add those at a later date. So this one, actually, I should have started this like over here and moved them, but I'm not going to do it that way. I am just going to stick them in there. I can always move the tape again later. So that's that row. And that is peach pie, all of these. Um, Petunia Pop, Shy Shamrock, and then this one is the Bumblebee, right? The one with just Jade. So I need 2022 to 20, I don't know. We'll see in a second. Ah! And eventually, this is 2021 Orchid Oasis. That is not that one. Where is Orchid Oasis at? Oh, see, this is the only one I used of that. That's why. That is why. So that's a different set. This is the Just Jade Magenta Madness. Hopefully I'm right. If not, I can always go by and change it. So I need this one. I just didn't use uh, the Orchid Oasis and the, um, what was it? Parakeet Party, all of those. I took the labels off of them when they retired because I didn't use them. So this one I might stick over there. These are my retired ones that I put over here. This one, not all of them have moved to the retired section. Um, that's Azure Afternoon. See, this is Azure Afternoon too. <clears throat> Just one of those, what is this one? Flirty Flamingo, see that one hasn't been used. Um, Coastal Cabana has not, why is that O? Oh. Typo. Pretty Peacock. See those? And then Bubble Bath goes into the Subtles. So let's do Bubble Bath. And then Basic Beige really doesn't have a spot. So it's been hanging out with me. And here's another dauber that has no um, business being anywhere. So some have been thrown away. I just, that's how I'm doing them. Eventually, um... I will have a container with just in colors, but if they retired and I didn't use them all, then I'm not I'm not gonna keep them in there because more than likely I won't be using a sponge dauber for those colors. These I will be, and now those are ready. And what I will do, see this is missing all of its oh that's bumblebee. I'm like, that doesn't have any stickies on it. But peach pie does. So let's give it a color, because I would like to start doing this. Pretty in pink, peach pie. So then this one will get a little wrap of that. And that's all I'm doing, guys. So Shy Shamrock needs a lift off. 
I mean, great use of these. If you don't have a label maker and you want to label your, um, see now this one, do you see how the color, it kind of disappears on the black? It's still there. I mean, if you wanted to cover this all in white and then stick that little ring on there, this little sticker, make it a ring around it. Um, if you stuck it on a white piece of paper, you would actually have the color. For me, you could stick it even right through the pretty in pink like that, and then you would see the color through it. So there's lots of different ways you can do your sponge daubers. So I'm hoping this answers um, your questions on sponge daubers. See, I don't mind covering that up because now I can see the color. I wonder if I can get this off and stick it like that around the center of my shy shamrock. Oh yeah, see now you can get the coloring on it. That worked out really well. Let's change this one. There are so many ways to label them, but it does help to label them as you can see in my little case here. All these little colors, you know, you get them, you can get them so mixed up. So, oh, peach pie needs to be changed as well. Though peach pie you can kind of see better than the other ones, I wonder why. So peach pie going around like that. So hopefully that answers your questions and um, helps you out some different ways you can label your sponge daubers. Thanks for asking. Um, I love, if I'm of any help, I would hope you would let me know because I love being helpful and I hope this was helpful. So thanks for watching everybody and please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.